Magandang araw po sa inyo lahat. Welcome to the... Actually, what I said in our survey program is the fourth. As far as I can remember, there was a National Missions Congress which was held in PBTS some years ago. Uh, but the formal gathering was held in Cebu, then in Dabao, then here in Tagaytay. I will open your... Your souvenir programs, page 8. Follow the leader. Welcome to the 4th National Missions Congress. A careful assessment of the current events like the frequent earthquake occurrences and volcanic eruptions in the many parts of the earth, the increasing number of broken marriages and dysfunctional families, even parricides, the increasing boat people migration from war ravaged countries, to countries where it is seemingly peaceful, which is consequently breeds terrorism, or no thanks to ISIS, ISIS invasions. The increasing gay movement in the LGBT communities, the increasing number of population living in almost total food deprivation, no thanks to El Nino, of course, and to the climate change. The increasing number of religious leaders claiming they have the solution to the world's problems as modern-day messiahs. Will move a true believer to pause and ask, Am I living in the end times now? If so, the issue is not that we are living in the end time Laudation age, but these are signs of an increasing level of lack of fear of God and of an increasing number of people who do not know who Jesus is. This is tantamount to saying that every believer is a great task to do for the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. I'm hoping and praying that the call is still loud and clear for every true believer that we are to make disciples of all nations. This is every believer's task and mission. And if you're not in the mission of making disciples, then you're missing the point why you are saved. For God saved us to, to be His instruments for the salvation of men. Yes, making disciples start with soul winning or evangelism. After snatching the soul from the hand of Satan and guiding them to the feet of Jesus, the soul snatcher must teach and train the new believer about who Jesus is, what his teachings are, and how to become an effective soul snatcher, winner, and disciple maker too. Wherever we are, wherever we are sent, stay loyal in doing this task, the task of the Great Commission. During this Congress, may we feel the working and the prompting of the Holy Spirit in our midst and in our lives, and that we may be equipped and encouraged to be part of Jesus' Great Commission. Let us move in haste to snatch as many souls as we can from the grip of Satan, that, we may, that they may be saved, trained, and equipped as disciple-making churches of God before this time ends. To God be the glory. 